individual promos uh -huh. of people that are in the book. So I'll just do like a minute long thing. Yeah, for sure. Take a look at that. I took full responsibility for what I did and what I've always done, ultimately because I feel that I did it. I was in the stolen car that I was driving. I made the decision to take them on a chase. It was all my fault what happened to me. So I decided I wasn't going to be angry about it. I wasn't going to cry about it. I wasn't going to make other people feel pity for me. I was just going to man up. I was going to get through and get on with my life. And that's what I've attempted to do to this day. <laughs> I like that, dude. I like that a lot. What do you think? I love it. Dude. Ever since I've done this, you know, like people stop me on the street. They recognize me. They wish me well. That people, you know, at the kindness of their heart, help me out. You know what I mean? Some people ask me if I need help. And, you know, I'm not trying to take from people like, like unnecessarily. So, you know, sometimes I turn people down with respect, you know, but I'm like, man, hey, just you recognize me as awesome. And like, you know. Like I said, dude, I have a big thanks to you because it's because of you that I've been able to even attempt to get my life back. You know, like this is this has opened up so many like different avenues for me that I mean, the only you know it's only looking up. Yeah, but you know it, it helps with your self worth a little bit. Absolutely, you know, I mean, being on the streets, dude. Like I had this, I had this. Your 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 um your uh what's it called your um. Your confidence level goes down, you know what I mean? You start looking rough, you start not maintaining yourself, and then, you know, you see, I see the way people look at me. You know, sometimes I get shady looks, sometimes I get, like, pity looks, and some, you know, some people recognize it for what it is, that I mean, that I'm, I'm just out here struggling, and I'm just trying to find my way like everybody else, you know? I'm just, I'm just trying to find my way what works for me now, you know, like, me and my baby's mom aren't together anymore, but I still have my son. And for me, that's everything. I still have to be a full role model to him, you know? And I mean, I want to, I want to get a job. I want, but see, the whole thing is I want to try to find what my, like, what am I passionate about? What am I, you know, what keeps me going? I mean, I, I'm into music. I love making beats and, um, a friend of mine, uh, he uh he started this band and it's called Noise Pollution, and you know uh, I'm a part of that. I want I want to DJ for him. I want to bring it to life, you know, because he's an amazing musician, you know. And I mean, man, you know, like I just I can't I can't I can't see myself just wasting away anymore, you know. I used to be okay with just getting loaded and if whatever happened, happened. But now, I mean, I got so much going on. I'm going, I'm getting housing. You know, I, I had got, I went to jail and um, I had to do six months. So I got bumped out of the program and I worked hard to get with LASA to get me housing. And it was messed up the way it all worked out, but it's for a reason. And I got out, I got a cell phone, I got it cracking again, and I, I'm actually, today I talked with the director, and uh, I'm going to get back into housing today, so I'm getting off the street. That's great. Yeah. That's but, great. Having the, just caring about yourself, having the self-worth to, to, to care about yourself, I think is a huge part of all this. Absolutely. It's, I can't believe I let myself fall so far, you know what I mean? Like, I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's nice to hear you're hopeful. Yeah, I am. I'm very excellent. Nothing well, I'm, but you know, nothing for, good things. I'm proud to have you in this book. I'm, dude. I'm, I'm very, very flattered that, that. I mean, this is amazing, dude. Like, I never thought. I mean, I've read all the comments. I read, you know, from people and everything, and how positive they were. And look to everybody that did comment. I love every one of you. I'm sorry, my my life is just chaos, and I couldn't respond to you guys individually at that point. But I just want to thank everybody for all the positive feedback, and you guys are a big, big part of, you know, what what built me back up, and, you know, like, oh, thank you, Mark. You know, like this whole thing is giving me, giving me a second chance, man, to actually be a man and grow up. You know, you're, you're still a young man too. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe maybe go to Homeboy Industries and maybe. Maybe work on getting a couple taken off the face, maybe, or, you know? <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Donnie. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, man. Thank you. 
Dude, I look at this shit like, dude, like, this is fucking, like, like, literally like a piece of history now, and I'm fucking there, bud. I love that shit, dude. Like, dude, I read those comments. Dude, people all over the world, dude, like, that's amazing to me. I never thought me telling my story would matter.